Mexico. Okay, I have a Costco haul for you guys. A lot of you that pop in on hauls are new to the channel. If you're wondering why all my stuff is laid down on a bed right here, it's because while our kitchen isn't put together yet, we've been out here about a year and a half. We have an RV kitchen, which is not very big if you're familiar with like camping trailers. We um, make do with the space that we have. Right now we're doing our hauls right here because this is the biggest space that we have. It is our cabin bed. So if you're new to the channel, we are a family of 12, 10 kids living off grid in the state of Utah. And this is our monthly grocery haul. This is Costco, Sam's will be after this, and uh, let's get started. Okay, here is our grocery haul. We will start over here. I do have to put this stuff away. I'll have to have the boys come in and help me. We store our stuff up. Here in the loft of the cabin, we are modifying right now. That back there was originally gonna be our kitchen, but we are putting walls up and a door. And that will be our four girls room and we're going to modify this into a crib area for the baby anyways with that being said we're extending the front of the cabin out to be our outdoor kitchen greenhouse style so it's going to be pretty cool but anyways we're, this is about the hall not our plans so this is what we got this nori we got two packs of 24 pack of nori my kids like to snack on this it's healthy it is part of the non-gmo project and it is organic which is really cool we got two bags of pears, very nicely priced. I think they were like five bucks a bag. Got some grapefruit. Nope, these are navel oranges. Green and red sriracha. This is really good. We've had it before. It is on sale this week, our month at Costco. Definitely, yeah, it's only five bucks. Definitely give it a try. <laughs> Yummy. Some of this eggplant pasta I thought looked really good. I make my own pasta with the tomato sauce and i haven't seen this one i thought it'd be worth a try to give it a different little flavor to the palette of ours it's italian cherry made with italian cherry tomatoes it's family owned and operated looks yummy some minced garlic make my life easier steak strips i tried to get the most healthiest kind out there you gotta watch they put a lot of you know stuff in there that shouldn't be I'm trying to buy things without soy, which is extremely hard. If you look at things, there's no soy in this, but if you look in a lot of them, there's soy. There's literally soy in everything. Let's see this one. I don't think there's in this one. Yeah, the only thing bad in here was the caramel coloring, which, caramel coloring. yeah, not that bad. So, this is the Dukes. This is the Dukes brand. A bag of avocados, which you can see we opened. We took with them yet we took these with us yesterday but we didn't eat them so they're in the kitchen they're just open two bags of this granola this is chris's favorite i didn't see the pumpkin seed one that i like but this is the kind that he likes it's nature's path organic ancient greens it's a probiotic granola they have um it is organic but just because it's organic doesn't mean it's healthy they have things in here that they probably don't need in here like soy oil like really do they really need to put soy oil in here but yeah you just gotta watch what you buy um two of these there's still a limit here in utah on formula is there you is there a limit everywhere else let me know in the comments but we can only get two at a time my daughter goes through about one of these a week she's on foods now too so yeah two of those some tortilla strips some of these dashima bugok chip bite size i think this is um seaweed my kids really like seaweed so it looks like puffed rice and seaweed yeah that's what it looks like they asked for them they're like hey can we get this the ingredients are pretty clean for the most part i mean we don't really care too much about the oils then we got this wild planet it is sustainably pull and line caught so they catch this with like a fishing rod. They don't catch it with like a net. Right, Daddy? No net, no long line. So that's really cool. That You pay a little bit more for this too. But again, you pay for what you get. Chris is really into doing things in a clean way when it comes to animals. And um, he, like, he won't do farm-raised fish. He won't do any of that. He likes to do the wild caught. Anyway, this is tuna. 
Let's see how many grams of protein in this one. 33 grams of protein. Not bad, but it is also... Is this one safe too? Good for the planet. Well, it does not you. say pregnancy safe on it, I don't think, on that one. I don't see that one. Oh, yeah. so there's, there's the difference. 43 on this. is 26 grams. Is it, I'm, I'm doing this one. No, no. When you did this one. Where did I see that at then? Uh, 43 on something. Oh, on the, the thing over there at the very, by safe catch in the front. Look underneath wild caught. See that circle? Okay, that says, okay, this is weird, folks. This is something I caught. This says 43 grams of protein per can on the label out here. Oh, okay, I see why. So you got to watch this stuff. Uh, it's 26 grams of protein per serving. There's two servings per can. Oh, so beat the whole can, you get the full serving whole of 43. Thing. Okay. Yeah, let me see the other one. Um, this one? Yeah. Okay, so this one is safe for the dolphins, long lines, nets, and it's safe for the turtles. This is 33 grams of protein per can. What is it safe? So this one is 33 per can, not per serving. Serving size is one can. Okay. So that's weird like just the way they do that i like i like this packaging better because it's a little more concise um this is albacore white albacore this is ahi tuna so if you're going to make sushi this is better for sushi because of the type of, of um tuna that it is. there you have it try to get the healthier tuna even if you're paying more for it it's just better off for you you want to try and stay away from the mercury it's just not good for you they've already pumped us in pumped it in our veins through those vaccines. You don't need it anymore. Anyways, um, we got some, oh, we got the salmon over here. Yeah. This one doesn't say that it's like safe for the dolphins or anything like that. It is the Kirkland brand, pink salmon. It is wild caught Alaska. That's really cool, boneless and skinless. Look at that in the omega threes, the fatty acids. That is really cool. It is certified sustainable. Am I saying that word right? Sustainable. Um, 17 grams of protein per can. Oh, serving size is a third cup. So when we do this, we all have our own can. There's like a lot of us. My boys will eat their own can of tuna. I'll eat my own can. We all eat our own dang can of tuna. So that's important. That's This is not enough for all of us, but I do have some up there in our food storage. Okay, back to the drinks, the La Crocs. We haven't bought this stuff in a while and it just sounds really good. I've been wanting soda and um, it's just not good for you. So that is a good alternative. Some of the banana nectar cans. There's nectar, just ne not just banana nectar. There's four different kinds of nectar in there. My kids really like this Kern's nectar stuff. Hot chocolate for the kids' coffee. Um, mustard for, you know, mustard. Pete's coffee, we got two bags of these. French roast, dark roast, fig bars, you guys, this, fig bars, we always buy these, this is one of my kids' favorite fig bars, they are part of the non-GMO project, they are up to like $17 a box now, that is freaking crazy, but you do get 40 bars in there, so if you think about it, that is under a dollar a bar, so that is worth it, and these are really filling, they do have a lot of sugar in it, I don't really care about sugar, whatever, um, but those are good. It's a good feeling snack. It is plant-based. No fructose corn syrup crap in there. A chair for daddy. He just had his meniscus repaired. He ACL, ACL. meniscus, and arthritis. Yes, that's what I was getting to. Done on his leg. So he is going to be on his ass and bored. Crazy. Actually, there's a lot of good projects for him to do. But this is a chair for him to sit in while, we, while he watches us do the garden. He could put together like the bird feeder. He has some fake skin to just tattoo on if he wants to do that. So there's some stuff for to keep him busy. Um, soft chewy granola bars. That isn't the best, but um, it's not the worst either. And then back over here to this one degree organic foods. This is the farmers we know. Oatmeal, my absolutely favorite oatmeal to feed the kids. It is glycosylate free. You know what I'm trying to say? Glyphosate? Yes, that. Organic. It's celiac free. You could scan that for the ingredients. Non-GMO. And the bio checked. You just want to, when you buy your oats, you want to make sure it says that. Just say G free. Yes. Those are our favorite oatmeal to buy. 
again, you pay for what you get, what you're putting in your body. You can't put everything perfect in your body. I but you could try your best, you know? Oh, down here. Where I think you there's from? a lot of things that you should look for that are glyophosphate free. Um, for those of you that don't understand, glyophosphate is a chemical that they spray fields with. It is horrible for the human body, animal bodies, everything. It is a cancer causing uh, agent. Uh, even though the government says it isn't, it is for sure. That is why Monsanto was sued for <clears throat> Roundup. Yep. The government doesn't care for our health here in America. So you got to do your own research and do your best at what you can feed your family. And, you know, you want to trust the government. That's you, but that's not for us. Anyways, we got some spoons, some forks, some kitchen bags. We got... Some organic lemonade down here on the floor over here we got the strawberry lemonade one and then this is the pasta sauce that i like to use to make spaghetti sauce to put on everything your meatloaf which sounds really good right now actually and chili you could just do everything with tomato sauce i got these big old cans my next canning my next canning thing you guys need to make ketchup and get away from the store-bought ketchup Anyways, we got three boxes of those to go up in the storage. And now I got to put have the boys come in here, put all this up in the storage for me. So we could show you guys the cold stuff. So I'm going to be saying this in the next few of my videos. I am working on opening up a Patreon account. I'm going to be slowly stepping over to Patreon over there and start putting up a lot of my family vlogs. Our building, um, anything really family related will be going over there to Patreon. I've been trying to do members channels and doing lives with building here out here for my kids but I really don't want them into the YouTube scene anymore and when I do lives on the building and stuff like that they're just right there they're just always right there when you have this many kids it's really hard to keep them off of the screen so um I will let you members know when I make that move and we're going to be switching over to members over there on Patreon I will still use YouTube as a place to share our hauls or cooking videos, which I'm going to be getting back into. Now that it's warmer weather, I love to cook outside. I just got to get the kitchen. I need to find a way because my husband is a little bit, a little bit broken right now. I need to find a way to ghetto up me a kitchen to cook on outside, but kind of like I did last year, minus the whole tent thing. We tried the whole carport tent, not good with Lakeland. That thing got yeeted up in the air. So, um... We'll figure it out. I kind of have an idea on what I want to do. I don't know if it's doable, but until our greenhouse kitchen is built, um, I will be finding ways to cook meals and share with you guys on here on YouTube, just like I have in the past. So I won't be getting rid of my channel. I will just be moving over my family vlogs as well as our building vlogs over to Patreon here. In the next few weeks, I will keep you guys updated. It'll be the same platform name, Cluttered Mother over there. I don't really understand anything about Patreon right now. I hate learning new things. But now I have all the time in the world to try to learn this while my husband is off of work for the next few weeks. So, don't forget to check me out over there. I want to tell you guys, I'll keep mentioning this in the video. That way you guys don't forget because I don't know it either. So, if you and don't know... I'll hot link it once that comes. Yeah, I'll hot link it down in the description once that happens. But in the meantime, if you haven't heard of that site, like me, um, are familiar with it, there are other vloggers over there, so if you're kind of tired of the whole vlogging scene or you're bored with the vloggers here on YouTube, you can kind of go check them out. I haven't done it yet, so anyways, I will catch you guys here in a minute when I show you the freezing stuff. So, <laughs> you like flew into this, to the shop. So here is what it looks like up here. We have all of our lighter stuff above the door to the cabin, which is right there. So this is all of where we're sticking our food. And him, we're gonna eat him too. <laughs> he climbs up here because I can't sight the kids under the attic. The way the camera view is, your legs look like they're noodles. Because <laughs> I have it on like a widescreen view. Here's all of our canned meat. I need to get a lot more canned chicken. When we use canned chicken, you guys, we use like four cans at a time. And it's really not that bad. It makes my life easier when we're out busy. It's like fast food, you know, except for me canning it. It's really faster. Anyways, we got all of our canned stuff down here. You can see we do have cheaper tuna back there. 
We have our canned meat over here. We go through a lot of canned meat, like four of these at a time. So I try to get them on there on sale. I don't really see them on sale at Costco, but they do go on sale at Sam's Club. They both taste the same. It's just freaking chicken in a can. And it's really clean ingredients. Like, I don't know what kind of chicken they use. Like, we have our own chicken. But um, this is just, in case you're interested, chicken breast, meat, water, and salt. That is it. Hopefully, it really is a product of the USA. I don't know. But this is the Costco brand. And then this... No. This is the Sam's Club brand. And then this is the Costco kind. So, it's like the same. Even the ingredients here are not as clean as the member's mark. Look at that. The ingredients are more in here. In the member's mark... Um, this is 13 okay so this is 13 grams of protein this is 19 grams of protein this only has what the heck chicken breast meat water and salt down there this one has chicken breast meat water seasoning salt modified food starch sodium phosphates chicken broth and natural flavors personally I think the members mark brand is better I yeah so um this one's always on sale too so i would pick members mark over the purple chicken but anyways this is where we have our meats at we have our cheaper tuna back there that we get when it's on sale it is wild caught it's the star kiss chunk like tuna and water made in the usa hopefully it's made in the usa Anyways, that's where we put all of our meat. Anyways, this is where we stick all of our crap in this kid right here that we're going to eat too. He's, we need to fatten him up. He's, he looks like he's like starving to death. Somebody call Me? help for him. Hashtag save Fisher. I eyes it too. <laughs> then we have the trailer kid my crying eyes, in the corner. <laughs> Let me see the hat. Huh? You guys have been asking to see all of. Here she is. <laughs> she growled. <laughs> she growled. Oli, oli. She's a MAGA baby. Okay. So you we have a... Them. She's fine. I'll go like this if I have to. We have a Sam's Club haul for you guys. It's pretty tiny. Me and the kids ran and got a couple things from Sam's Club while Chris was in surgery yesterday. Right there. Yeah. And I um, wanted to share with you guys. So we got a box of bubbles. I thought we got two boxes of these, but maybe I grabbed one. When I'm shopping, let alone by myself, I guess it's a little more harder to pay attention to what I'm doing. I normally get two boxes of these. They're expensive, but they're great to go snacks. And for the most part, minus the sugar, they're not that horrible for you. String cheese. Um, crab classic. I want to do like a pasta salad with this. The kids want sushi, so... Maybe I'll use half of it for some sushi and the other half of it for a pasta salad. Body suits for Oli. She is needing some warmer weather. I do do the trickle down, handy down thing for my kids, but Olive was born in the fall, as in all my other girls were born in the um, spring and summer. So, yeah, she gets to get new clothes for herself, which is nice. Most of the time, the babies get new clothes for themselves anyways because they spit up so much and stain the collars. But got that for her. This is a five pack. I think it was like eight bucks. I can't remember. Applesauce. We have a, quite a bit of canned applesauce left. But Gage eats applesauce so much. I thought, well, he saw that. He's like, can we get some more? And I was like, we have some at home. He's like, yeah, but you guys are telling me I'm off limits to it. So more applesauce. So I got three bags of these steak strips right here. I have one in the van for snacking. These are an easy protein. They're really good. It's my favorite brand. I like this one over all of them, even the ones at Costco. This one tastes the best. It's not bad for you. You do have to refrigerate it after opening, which is weird, but all no, of them, no. no added any of this stuff on there. And yeah, it's pretty tasty. So I recommend that. Got three bags of that. Some to go wafers. These are really cheap. They're like five bucks for a box. My kids like them. Got one of those. This got torn into. My kids were thirsty. We just got, I took them to the park and they were thirsty. So we opened this up while we were shopping. The kids drink some. It's just a sports drink. The kids seem to really like it. It's like a knockoff Gatorade. Peaches. We got two boxes of diced peaches. We have, I think, one jar of our, our canned peaches left. That went really fast. I'm going to have to do a lot of canning on the peaches this year. 
two things of muffins. That was breakfast this morning. We got chocolate and blueberry. Two boxes of pineapple. Some of these Belveda crunches. These have like GMOs in there. It even says there's modified bull crap in there. But they're good. My kids like them. And pick your poisons. Got some lemon blueberry cookie thins. I don't know how they are, but they are limited time. So we grabbed a bag of those. And then a bag of member marks chips. Did you guys notice how expensive chips and boxes are? They're really expensive. So we got the members mark brand. And then my girls really like the veggie straw. So we got a box of those. And that's it for our tiny little Sam's Club haul. I forgot to mention the boys' clothes. We got the boys um, each a pair of shorts, Levi's jean shorts. And then we got them each a two pack of shirts. So that was four shorts and four packets of shirts. For the boys, I can't share them because it's, as soon as we got into the van, literally they, they had to wear them. So my van is like blackout. You can't see in the back. They literally stripped and changed into their new clothes because that's how they do. But we did have that on there. The total for this haul was, how much was it? The total for this haul was $384.